Elon Musk has just pulled the curtain back on Tesla's 2026 battery tech for the Model 2. And what's hiding behind it could disrupt the entire EV playbook. This isn't about 4680 Gen 2, and it's not about sodium ion either. Tesla is preparing a battery approach designed to slash weight, boost lifespan, and change what we expect from a low-cost EV. So the real question is, how is Tesla doing this, and why are legacy automakers suddenly so nervous? Before we break it all down, help Auto Gear Shift reach 13,777 subscribers. Hit subscribe and ring the bell if you want front row access to breakthroughs. The rest of the world will only understand years later. 1. How weight is 2026 Tesla aluminum ion battery that makes it a radical weight savings? Here's the brutal truth about battery weight that's been killing affordable electric vehicles. Lithium ion batteries in compact EVs like the Nissan Leaf weigh between 660 to 880 pounds, making up 20 to 30% of the vehicle's total weight. This massive weight penalty destroys range and agility, turning what should be nimble city cars into sluggish beasts. Take a typical 40 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. It weighs approximately 770 pounds, dragging down efficiency and skyrocketing production costs, which directly conflict with Tesla's ambitious $25,000 price target for the Model 2. These heavy batteries don't just hurt performance, they raise tire wear by 10 to 15% and increase maintenance costs by $1,000 to $2,000 over 100,000 miles. What if Tesla could slash that weight by 50%, making the 2026 Model 2 the ultimate affordable EV? How would that change the game? Instead of lithium ion cells packed with heavy cobalt and nickel, Tesla is shifting to aluminum ion cells built around ultra-thin aluminum foils, and the weight savings are absolutely staggering. A 50 kilowatt hour aluminum ion battery for the Model 2 is projected to weigh just 330 to 400 pounds, compared to 660 to 770 pounds for a lithium ion equivalent. That's a mind-blowing 40 to 50% weight reduction. Here's the science that makes this possible. Aluminum's trivalent charge, or AL3, plus enables higher energy storage per unit weight. With gravimetric capacities of 150 to 200 milliampere hours per gram versus lithium ions 100 to 160 milliampere hours per gram, potentially cutting battery weight by 30 to 50 percent. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Aluminum has a density of 0.098 pounds per cubic inch versus lithium's 0.019 pounds per cubic inch but aluminum stores three electrons per atom compared to lithium's one, creating far greater density per pound. Traditional lithium packs waste roughly 40% of their weight on non-active material like casing, separators, and coolants. Tesla's new aluminum ion cells reduce that non-active weight by up to 60% based on leaked R and D reports. Would you trade the old heavy lithium pack for a lighter 330 pound pack if it meant fewer tire replacements and more miles per charge? Comment below with the words 330 pounds and tell me exactly how this kind of weight saving would change your own driving life. We'll be reading your answers. And now let's dive deeper. How did Tesla engineers slash the weight inside each cell to make this mind bending battery possible? Stay here. 2. How did Tesla engineers slash the weight inside each cell? At the heart of this revolution lies the pure aluminum anode, which weighs significantly less than the graphite anodes used in lithium ion batteries. With aluminum's density of 0.0976 pounds per cubic inch compared to graphite's approximately 0.0795 pounds per cubic inch, you might think aluminum would be heavier. But here's the engineering brilliance. Aluminum can transfer three electrons per ion compared to lithium's single electron transfer. 
This means you need far less material to achieve the same energy storage capacity, resulting in a net weight reduction of 10 to 15% in the anode alone. The real game changer lies in the cathode technology. Research has shown that graphene-based cathodes can achieve extraordinary performance metrics. Such a cathode retains a high specific capacity of around 120 mAh per gram at an ultra-high current density of 400 amperes per gram with 91.7% retention after 250,000 cycles, according to groundbreaking research published in Science Advances. The ultra-low density of graphene materials, combined with their exceptional conductivity, allows engineers to cut cathode weight by 20 to 30 percent compared to the heavy nickel-cobalt-manganese cathodes in traditional batteries. But the weight savings don't stop there. The electrolyte system represents another crucial breakthrough. Traditional lithium-ion batteries rely on heavy liquid electrolytes that require extensive safety containment systems. The aluminum-ion battery uses solid-state aluminum fluoride salts with engineered porous structures that eliminate the need for these heavy liquid components. This innovation saves 5 to 10 percent of the total battery weight while simultaneously boosting safety by eliminating the risk of thermal runaway that plagues liquid electrolyte systems. The structural design innovations are equally impressive. Three-dimensional printing techniques allow engineers to create battery pack casings that are optimized for both strength and weight reduction. Unlike the steel-heavy designs of traditional battery packs, these new structures can minimize casing weight by 15 to 20 percent while maintaining structural integrity. Every gram matters when you're trying to create an affordable electric vehicle that can compete with gasoline cars. Perhaps most remarkably, the unique properties of aluminum and graphene create cascading weight benefits throughout the entire vehicle system. The resulting aluminum graphene battery achieved 91.7% retention after 250,000 cycles, an unprecedented 111 mAh per gram at 400 amperes per gram based on the cathode and a wide operation temperature range of negative 40 degrees to 248 degrees Fahrenheit. This means the battery generates less heat during operation, allowing Tesla to reduce the cooling system weight by approximately 66 pounds. When your battery doesn't overheat, you don't need massive cooling systems. 3. How does saving just 0.1 pound inside a cell transform an entire Tesla? What if I told you that Tesla engineers just figured out how to cut 463 pounds from a car without removing a single seat? Let's talk about why every pound matters when you're behind the wheel. Early internal Model 2 test data reveals something absolutely mind-blowing. With the new aluminum ion pack, the curb weight drops from about 3,450 pounds to roughly 2,987 pounds. That 463 pound cut alone pushes the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint from a projected 5.1 seconds down to 4.6 seconds without adding a single extra motor. We're talking about hot hatch performance in a budget electric vehicle. Test mules even clocked quarter mile times under 13.3 seconds, something no entry level Tesla has ever achieved. But acceleration is just the beginning. The 2026 Tesla Model 2's battery weight reduction lowers its center of gravity by almost 1.8 inches, giving it sharper cornering that feels like a totally different car. Tesla's private track reported an 8.6% increase in lateral g-forces. Put simply, the Model 2 can now take a freeway on-ramp at 58 miles per hour instead of 52 without squealing tires. The braking also improves dramatically as the stopping distance from 60 miles per hour shrinks by 11 feet because there's less mass to fight. When you're driving in real-world conditions, that 11 feet could literally save your life. The range gains are equally shocking. 
Tesla's highway simulations show that dropping 220 pounds normally yields 12 extra miles of range. With the full 463 pound reduction, the Model 2 prototype achieved 26 miles more range per charge, from 300 miles to about 326 miles on the same pack size. Over a year, that's over 1,300 extra miles of driving without paying a dime more for electricity. Here's where it gets really interesting from a cost perspective. Because the Model 2 carries hundreds of pounds less, it can use lighter suspension arms and smaller brakes. Those lighter parts wear more slowly, creating a ripple effect of savings. Tesla's internal projections suggest tire life increases by 8,000 miles on average, and brake pad service intervals jump from about 40,000 miles to over 55,000 miles. That's hundreds of dollars saved without even thinking about it. So, what does this mean for you as a Model 2 buyer? The direct purchase savings are substantial. With less raw material and simpler shipping, Analysts estimate Tesla can cut about $1,200 per car in costs. That could mean Model 2's starting price, already rumored to be around $24,000 to $25,000, might drop even further or include more features for the same money. You're not just getting a cheaper car, you're getting a better car for less money. The ownership savings over time are even more compelling. Less weight means fewer repairs, and lower wear. Over five years, those extended tires and brake lifespans alone could save you $600 to $1,000. Insurance companies are also noting that lighter electric vehicles cause up to 18% less damage in low-speed collisions, which could shave more dollars off your premiums. Every aspect of owning this car becomes cheaper because of the 463 pounds Tesla eliminated. The customer service is becoming simpler, too. The new battery pack is light enough so that a technician can remove a module with smaller lifts, cutting service labor time by 30%. If you ever need a replacement 8 or 10 years down the road, that's fewer hours billed to you. Tesla has essentially engineered convenience into every aspect of the ownership experience. You came in hearing rumors, tired of recycled headlines, wondering if Tesla could really deliver something new, and now you have seen it. A 330 pound aluminum battery that reshapes acceleration, range, and even your wallet. These are real design breakthroughs happening right now that prove the end of lithium is not just a dream, but the future you can almost touch. So let us ask you this as we close. What road would you take first in a Tesla this light? Drop your thoughts below. Thanks for watching.